Thank you, StarPipe, for having our team back again this year. We're always excited to be part of such an incredible conference. I grew up in a relatively small town in Scotland, and we didn't have the opportunity to attend conferences like this. A conference where LGBTQ individuals can come and be their true authentic selves while talking with representatives from companies who genuinely want them to be part of their team. It's a great opportunity for all the job seekers in the audience to showcase their skills to incredible employers. On a side note, there's a lot of work goes into creating a conference like this, so I think we should all take a moment to, to give a round of applause to the volunteers who have spent countless hours to make this conference happen. What could go wrong, right? <laughs> Do you want to say something? <laughs> Out of curiosity, who in the audience knows a real estate agent? Put your hand up, friend, family member. So, there's definitely a lot of you. I think Paul's making a mental note of anyone that didn't put their hand up as well. <laughs> In Toronto alone, there's 45,000 agents. Uh, so there, there's definitely a lot of competition. So I will say, when Paul told me that he wanted to get into real estate, I wasn't exactly excited. <laughs> When it, when it came to the two of us, when it came to careers, I was always kind of the risk taker, the entrepreneurial one, and suddenly my conservative accountant husband was telling me that he wanted to get into real estate. So yeah, I, I was pretty skeptical at first. Um, I figured why not let him try it out for four or five months, and then he'll probably end up not enjoying it, and end up going back to the corporate world. Well, thankfully, he proved me wrong, and roughly one year after we launched Modern Family Realtor, I also left my job to work full-time with Modern Family Realtor as well. Launching Modern Family Realtor was certainly one of the most nerve-wracking experiences that we have had. But it was also one of the best decisions we've ever made, behind getting married and having Jasmine, of course. On top of all the regular stress that business owners have, working with your partner, being together 24-7 basically, and raising a toddler certainly has its challenges for sure. There's days where we want to kill each other, but thankfully we've not done that yet. <laughs> To be honest, we wouldn't have it any other way though, and it's moments like this that make it all worthwhile. Being able to give back to causes that Paul and I are passionate about. She really likes Paw Patrol, so. <laughs> Being able to give back to causes that Paul and I are so passionate about is one of the most important aspects of our company's culture. Over the years, we've been fortunate enough to donate to various LGBTQ charities, Hi. gay parenting networks, animal rights organizations, dog rescues, to name just a few. It's what motivates us to work harder every day. 